I was one of the lucky people who grew up watching Spongebob, and recently I've been able to return to Bikini Bottom, but not in the way you'd expect. I haven't been rewatching any of the Spongebob shows or movies. Rather, I'm talking about a YouTuber named Florb. I first came across Glorb from this moist critical video. Look into my eyes, the windows to my soul, you can feel the truth here when I say some of the tracks Glorb has produced are better than most of the top 100 hits on Billboard right now. One of my most recent memories of going to the gym has been hitting a PR while listening to Glorb, specifically his track Eugene. So today I wanted to go over the mystery, memes, and artistry of Glorb, as well as the characters and lore that have developed throughout his songs. It all began on June 3rd, 2023, when a TikToker named Glorb Worldwide posted a preview for his debut song, The Formula. I didn't hey, know Mr. Crash was about dance You're like a for real. Hey, pop that lean, Squiddy. The track features the voice of Mr. Krabs, and within a month of the full song being posted on YouTube, it had over 550,000 views. Glorb's channel now has over 600,000 subscribers and 120 million views. He even appeared alongside Smosh recently. The biggest thing to address about Glorb is the role of AI in making his music. I couldn't find any info about Glorb's exact music process, but the belief online is that he writes the lyrics and records the audio all by himself. He then uses some sort of AI voice program to make the recorded audio sound like one of the many Spongebob characters featured in his songs. So excluding the use of this voice changing software, the lyrics and production are all done by Glorb. Throughout the 18 songs Glorp has released as of this video being posted, his music has featured the voices of 9 Bikini Bottom residents. He's also given nearly all of these characters an artist's name as well. So in terms of characters, we have Spongeop, Squidwalk, Dankton, Mr. Swags, The Notorious P.A.T., ASAP Larry, Sandy the Squirrel, Karen, and Gary. Yeah, Gary the Snail. It's extremely impressive how Glorb has given each and every one of these characters their own style. I feel like most artists take years to do the same thing just for their own voice. The likes of Pearl and Miss Puff have also been mentioned in the lyrics or shown in the accompanying animation on his tracks. If I had to guess the next characters to make an appearance, I'd probably say Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I think it'd also be pretty cool to see Bubble Bass or Scolium as well. Another significant factor to Glorb's rise in popularity is his video's visuals. He originally had these AI photo changing videos that I'm not a big fan of, but then his song The Bottom had an accompanying 3D animation and he's kept with the style ever since. The animation in his videos have gotten much better over time, especially since Thrill De Will started doing the animations. I find it especially cool how in Glorb shorts, he often does an entirely different 2D animation to either promote his music or accompany certain track clips. Ah, chum gang, it's me, Dankton. I just really wanted to come on here and talk to you and say, I appreciate you. You took my rap career off and you allowed me to spin the black on that little yellow b You know, you've, you've done a lot for me. So on behalf of Glorb, I just want to sh- There we go, we're in. Hey, c can you guys hear me? I just hacked into Dankton's feed, he, he has no idea what's coming next. Huh, yeah, don't tell that little grain f any of this, but we're planning something big. Arr, so from all of us here in the Krusty Krab, thank you, and don't blink or you'll miss it. You may be surprised to know that there's actually a decent amount of lore in the Glorbiverse. It follows this gang battle going on between the Krusty Krab crew and the Chum Bucket. It started with Mr. Swag's diss track on Dankton, and it went back and forth between them until Spongebob joined in with his song Fun. Dankton responded again, this time to both Spongebob and Mr. Swag's with KYS. We then got a response from the entire Krusty Krab crew with the bottom, which marked the debut of Squidwalk. Dankton retaliated by brainwashing Patrick to be a feature on his next track, KFC. We then had Sandy make her first appearance with a Dankton diss track, and we also saw Larry the Lobster drop Dumbbell, a song that isn't gang related, but just Larry flexing himself. In Dankton's next song, Sadkini, we learn that with all the violence going down in Bikini Bottom, his wife Karen dies. Squidward and Spongebob then tell us how exactly Karen died with their track Kill Cam. Karen then returns from the dead with her debut song, Vengeance. After having enough of the gang violence, Sandy dumps Spongebob. Spongebob then writes a song to try to get her back, and this track isn't even drill. It's a country song. 
we see some real character development with Spongebob going from Cause I'm only doing real shit, I don't do no sad rap to making this track to win Sandy back. Dankton then released his most recent song, D&D, where he supposedly got the formula and did some pretty bad damage to the Krusty Krab crew. Your business got ran through, your house got ran through, and your daughter got ran through. The bottom two was Glorb's next release, and this is by far his most popular song. It's another track from the Krusty Krab crew and even features a fight between Gary and Karen. During the holiday season, Glorb released a White Christmas, which went back and forth between the Krusty Krab crew and Dankton. It even features a Spongebob TV narrator in the intro. Time has moved forward and brought us another beautiful white Christmas. As you know though, some fuckery is bound to be afoot. Glorb's latest track is Trendsetter, which is the first solo song from Squidwalk. And it goes without saying that regardless of who wins this gang war, Squidwalk by far has the best bars out of everyone. The mystery behind Glorb's identity is a big reason as to why he's become so popular. The common theory online is that Glorb's an already established artist in the music industry, and this project is nothing more than a hobby for him. Considering Glorb's inconsistent upload schedule, and the fact that in the description of all of his videos it says this is a parody, I'd guarantee that the channel is just a side project for the person or people running the account. All of Glorb's songs are protected as a parody under fair use, but if he claimed ownership of the music, that would be an entirely different story on whether he would get a copyright strike. I'm going to respect Glorb's privacy and not go on a rant about who he could be or where he's from, but you could find a lot of other interesting videos and comments on the matter. I think Glorb is just going to be one of the many artists that utilize AI in the coming years. You could argue that Glorb's parodies harm the Spongebob brand, but at the end of the day, parodies like this have been around as long as the internet has been. Regardless, I'm really looking forward to seeing how Glorb's channel continues to grow in the coming year. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're interested in more music related content like this, and let me know in the comments who you think has the better tracks between the Krusty Krab crew and the Chum Bucket.